What's going on YouTubers? So I am making a huge change in the DBZ room. I'm gonna be moving this over on this wall and all the details along this. Uh, this will allow me, so when I'm sitting in my chair working, I can view this a lot better. Cause at this angle, you know, it's like, look at that. That's all my favorite statues. And I just can't see these as good. And I feel like in the center of the room, they'll have much more presence. Also, if you notice this stuva is blocking most of this. There's also a lot of backspace back there. So I'm gonna be changing this up. Gotta move about 80 statues, 10 detolfs, two stuvas, two bestas. It's gonna take me multiple hours. It's gonna be hard work, probably hurt my back, but I need to do this. I'm about to apply earthquake putty to these statues and I think in the process of doing it, might as well rearrange it to allow better viewing for all my statues. You know, it's like you look at this, detolf against the wall, how much space is in forward of it. I want that same thing over here. So this staying here, basically that entire wall is moving. I'm gonna keep these detolfs here. I'm just gonna change the statues out to align better. But I gotta move all of those detolfs over here and all this over there and rearrange it. So it goes Dragon Ball and then Freaking Saiyan Saga, Frieza, Cell, Boo, one fourths. And I'm gonna do it the two stuvas in the middle with a Besta on each side. And I'll be able to view everything way better. So for you, it's only gonna be seconds. For me, it's gonna be probably four hours of hard work. Gotta rearrange everything. And I'm probably just gonna unplug the lighting on the statues, all of them, but the one fourths just cause lighting always dies out, pisses me off, or I'll just not use it, then have it die out and then it pisses me off. So on all the one six, no longer doing light up, only on the one force. And I wanna have a separate button than the main cabinet light up. So when I come in here, I can turn on the lights and not forcibly turn on the lights to these. I wanna have them a different button, which I'll do. I'll show you guys. So let's get to it, folks. Alrighty, everybody. Uh, so I've been able to move, I haven't moved all the bestas over. I gotta move the detolfs out of the way. So I still gotta move these three over here and then I can scoot the bestas back so far. I've done it like this. One problem I always face is what to do with the corners. You know, cause it's like, these aren't really corner shelves and I can't really fit a detolf you know, I can't fit four this way and then not have it blocked that way. So I have to do three like this and then I'll just have that one like that. I think that's the best viewing angle. And honestly, with how much space is right here, I could absolutely do a corner shelf and put a DBZ up there. That would be a very, very easy thing to do. But I'm basically just gonna scoot these two down that one along this wall, and then do Besta, Stuva, Stuva, Besta. So far, I'm still keeping that detolf over there, and might just keep it over there. I'll determine once I get these Stuvas and everything out of the way, because if I could fit it over here, I, I would do that absolutely. But this is the progress so far, trying to make sure I get all the lighting. Uh, you know, this is all the lighting for all these shelves. I'm vacuuming, there's you know lots of dust back there, some spiders, uh, some parts that fell over from the earthquake, gotta get that. Uh, remove all the posters and reapply. So that is the process so far. Alrighty folks, so here it is so far. So everything fits, uh, gotta go to bed though, been doing this for many hours, so I'm gonna head on to bed, finish it tomorrow. The shelves are all in place, just gotta fix the statues and posters everybody after probably seven grueling hours I am done thank goodness my gosh nothing broke and it was very difficult but I got it done so let me show you uh, basically how it is so first off if you notice there's a Besta right here I could put the Neo there you'll notice Broly there with triple Kamehameha previously on top of a Detolf so this is remaining the same over here, I now have the Goku Rally statue. Still see it fine. 
And so there's some Dragon Ball statues right there. You come along. I've kept him here for now. So this is remaining the same. Same with this, because I really like this. So there's that. We'll give one quick glance over. So I got two stuvas with a best on each side. Lots of statues on the ground. Still got to do lots of ground statues for now. And there we go. So there you have it. And I've changed it now so the light up is much better. So now all the light up is one thing. And then if I want to do the lighting for my One Force and Deborah, I simply press this button and boom, that, those are lit up. So bust over here. So we're gonna start here at the one fourth section. So first off, I made this detolf, which was previously Dragon Ball, into more of a movie super section. So on the ground, you got Goku vs Superman, and then my Exceed diorama. Uh, Goku Black vs Goku, Zamasu vs Trunks, looks awesome right there. Behind it, you have Goku, which is part of the diorama of Goku vs Beerus, which is above it. Normally they would be together, but because I'm putting all super in here, I had to separate them. Otherwise I'd have to put them where Triple Kamehameha is, and then I would have to ground that statue. I may do that in the future if I need space. So put this grail here. So I got Broly up here, cause you know, he wasn't in the anime, so I wanted to separate him. And I still got facing off against Triple Kamehameha just above. So inside this Besta, there used to be one six scales no longer. Now I have the bust like this next to Tsume Vegeta. So that looks really cool. And the plan is to put the other Goku bust right there. So it'll be bust, bust on top of each Besta and Goku bust will fit there. Here, also part of the super, you got the Goku one fourth grail by MRC X Sky. So that looks really good there. I don't have the lights connected because the lighting's over in that one. So no light up for now. Maybe someday I'll change it. It's kind of a huge hassle because I have to pull this out and I don't even think the cords would actually reach here. I'd have to get an extension cord. Boo goes right there. And then that little one fourth deal by Exceed of Goku and Gohan. Then you got Cell next to Frieza. Those look awesome. Trunks goes here, and for now, go hunt right there. So eventually, you know, when more one force come in, I'll throw one on the ground here, probably that Gohan, maybe the trunks, and put some one force there. You know, because I definitely got some ground space here. And all the other ground space here is pretty much non existent. Still could make space for Gohan versus Dodori, would just have to move this a little to the left. So, and. Yep, still got this trio with the posters. I really like this. I think it looks awesome. So that remains same. And now these are the centerpiece to the room. You know, because previously where I had them, I wasn't happy how it looked. It looked, I couldn't see them that well and they're my favorite statues. So I had to move them. So now, as you can see previously, the these two best is I couldn't see them very well previously. Uh, now I can see them much better. So overall, much better. There's light right above it as well. So the light really captures them nicely. So now let's go over this section. So I cleaned all this up, had tons of garbage there, moved it. I have all my COAs right there, except for the ground ones, because I don't want to put COAs up high anymore, I've decided. I don't like it. It looks too cluttered. And if they fall down, since I have ground statues, I can't deal with that. And any of the other things like these, that, 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 this COA, all puttied down. So it's not going to move. And I'm only putting COAs inside the single ones like these two. And that has a card holder, so that's fine. But everything else, no COAs except for on the ground. So over here is one Dragon Ball Detolf. So because I put that one on a display riser so I could display these statues in front and this is the entire UCS line. So I got the entire UCS line next to each other and I think that looks awesome. That one actually fit inside my little shelf because I cleared everything out. Got a air purifier behind it so suck out the dust. 
and yep so that's all dragon ball I had to put this one right here you know this thing is so massive it's ridiculous i had to put it right there but it works i still love this statue to death it just requires a ton of real estate and those trees are huge and i don't want them blocking so i angled it so the tree goes into there and in between these two so it's blocking nothing and it's more forward this way and this bad boy, which was previously on top of the, you know, Detolf right there, he's now right there, pulled forward so he doesn't block any viewing angles. And I just put that in front so that looks sick. That's a really cool statue, by the way. I freaking love that. And it looks fine down low. It's stupid heavy as well, so I, I didn't really like it on top. I hate putting super heavy statues inside Detolfs. Frankly, I hate Detolfs, but they look so good with DBZ. Any of the heavier resins, I've done double glass as well. So, you know, those two, double glass, double glass, double glass, double glass. So over here is the Saiyan Saga. So you notice an empty shelf right here. I'm getting the MRC King Vegeta. So that's a Saiyan Saga statue. It's 24 inches tall. So it's going to fill that up nicely and look really good there. So King Vegeta right there. I got that still on the ground, the SHK-8 Vegeta, because that thing's just huge. And then Vegeta Rival. Already, sorry about that. Freaking, God, so busy at work today. Uh, and above this, I've done this, and I really like this. So this is, in essence, the three Saiyans from the Saiyan Saga. So you have Raditz, Nappa, Vegeta and Goku in all three scenes. So I think this looks freaking awesome. Three of the best Dragon Ball Z statues, period. And this just looks really good. So I was able to fit all three of them on top of a Detolf, and it looks freaking awesome. So that concludes Saiyan Saga. Next is Frieza, which starts, everything starts down low and goes up, uh, except for the stuff up high. So you have Frieza, Form 1, surrounded by Dragon Balls. And I've actually gone ahead and put these Dragon Balls on top of like a little uh, Chinese ball holder and then use the little earthquake putty to putty them down so they don't move because they kept moving when I didn't have anything there. So they're not moving at all. So Frieza Form 1, Form 2, Form 3 still shooting towards him. Those two, this. So every, this was basically the same. Uh, as before and then above in the back you got the poster with the MRC Frieza and that thing is so effing heavy I hate having it up there but I had it up there for over four years with no problem so I swear that thing weighs like 60 pounds but four years no problem so I'm gonna keep trusting the Detolf can hold it so that stays there next you go into Saiyan Saga and Android Saga so in essence two sagas making up three Detolfs actually so, starts over here, you got King Cold, and then with Trunks covering that one, I just put basically Cell when he's in his, like, larva form, you know, because that was happening as Trunks was in his time machine, so that makes sense, and it's just back there to have something, because I don't want to empty, and then the evolution of Trunks, where he got out of his spaceship, he blasted Frieza, cut Frieza, so I don't really like how I did that, so that looks really cool. And then next you're going into like the Android Saga, which starts with this guy, Vegeta verse 19 by K KE Collectibles. And that looks really good there. And I got him in the middle. I think that looks really good. Previously he was a top detail of his lights and whatnot. So I have him on a display riser so I could display this little bad boy. And then Vegeta getting punched. And then over here, previously that was with that but now i've separated it to like this to have you made vegeta and then on a display riser chrome getting kissed by 18 mrc and then a little capsule corp thing there so that looks really cool and then those two fighting and i think that looks really cool having all three androids right there so i like that and above it you got vegeta gohan and then the final scene and above it is the VKH diorama all connected with the poster behind it and a Dragon Ball Z logo to cover that little empty spot. So I think this looks awesome having all three connected like that with the poster, that's just sick looking. 
uh, you know, previously, all three of these were inside here, and instead I had Broly versus Triple Kamehameha, but I'm gonna do it like this. I think it looks really good. And then we go into Boo Saga. So I got this uh, sort of like movie poster right here with Janemba and Wanox. Janemba's in this setup, so it works, and I needed to have all the posters equally distanced. And then the Boo poster right here, and up top, I wanted to do this. I think this looks so sick. You got all three forms of Boo, just like with this one, all three forms of Cell and all three Saiyans, you know, and then Frieza, you know, his evolution with the Ginyu Force. So I got three of the BKH, boom, boom, boom. Fat Boo, Super Boo, Kid Boo, three of my favorite statues actually. And I love this. I absolutely love it. Previously, those two were inside there. So I took them out, put everything like this, and I love it. No more light ups. I'm not worrying about light up. Light up just constantly dies. It pisses me off. So I don't want to use it that much. Very rarely. Even if you don't use it, it just dies on you. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. So yeah, no more light up in the one six outside of that Debor. That light up's really cool. So again, everything starting from Dumbo. And this is two Detolfs for Boo. So you got the Janemba, like I said. And then that Vegeta, I wanted to put him right there to make it chronologically correct, but that mother effer is way too heavy. I did not trust it. Even double Detolf, don't trust it. That thing's like 40 pounds. So nope, you're a bottom shelf statue. So yep, that goes there, even though it's technically not chronologically correct. Deborah, I put like that angled coming out of the Detolf so I could see it better. I plugged in the lighting actually. That looks really cool there. And then you have Goku versus Vegeta, both VKHs. And then Go Tanks, that looks great there. But this one here, that was previously lower. That looks better up high. And then Vegito, and then Goku versus Boo with the little Vegeta there. And finally, this one. I do not have the lighting plugged in for that. Uh, didn't get around to it, so I'm just gonna leave it. It's fine. That line wasn't very bright anyways. But now, as you can see, I have plenty of space for Goku Bust. I may even, you know, raise that and raise that if it looks like it's too much space, because I don't want too much space. You know, like if Goku Bust only go here, I'm gonna raise it so I can see Deborah's cape better. Just raise both those. So I may end up doing that. I'm gonna wait till that ships in about, you know, anywhere from four to six months, likely. So above that, we still got GT. But yeah, I do have, uh, I mean, obviously I still have s some space. I really don't like having statues on the ground, but I don't have much of an option for right now. You know, eventually, let's say I move all my Mortal Kombat statues out, then I can throw all these on some shelving units. So no more statues on the ground. I would love to do that eventually. For right now, I'm gonna have to do it like this, but you know, I planned it out so I can still, you know, walk around, walk up and close. If I wanna look at Tsume Vegeta or Dragon Fist, I can do it, no worries. You know, I can still walk around the room perfectly fine. And as if when I'm sitting down, you know, I made sure that, you know, this still has plenty of space next to my desk. Now I removed all the clutter here so nothing's gonna fall onto anything. I still, uh, I put this Broly poster cause I'm still putting Tsume Broly here, Tsume Krillin there, and Goku Bus there. You know, there's a lot of good 1-4 skills coming out. Uh, I really want to get the Exceed Goku versus Boo, or Goku versus Vegeta. I think that would be absolutely sick. And if I could get that, and, you know, heck, I could place it right there, right there. There's lots of different spaces I could put some 1-4s, because I do want more 1-4 skill DBZ statues. For now, it's going to go like this. I am happy with how this has turned out. Let me show you the light up one more time for these statues. So simply press number five on my thing. Those three light up. Those two light up and that lights up with the sound. So 
you know, Boo does have a light up in just the base, but it's not very bright. That has a sick light up, but it's over there and it'd take a lot of work to get it to fit. So we're gonna leave it like this for now. I think overall it is better to have my collection like this. You know, I mean, like, look at all these Vegetas I got. But previously, you know, when I had my 1-4 scales over here, I really just couldn't see them where, when you have a DTOF, you know, if I'm sitting right here, I can easily see all this. No worries. And the ground statues are not blocking any of the statues behind them for the most part. At some angles there, but, you know, I can always view them from, for the most part, any angle. So I think this was a good idea. I'm very tired. I'm actually gonna go work out chest now. I took pre-workout, but I spent a lot of work. If you're curious on how I moved some of these detolfs, uh, so what I did is I obviously removed the statue of Pi, and to be honest, I kept all the statues inside the detolfs, except for I took out the Goku vs. Frieza because his head was hitting that glass, so I took that out. But I carried the detolf using, just put my hand underneath that black thing and just carried it and used my foot to help move it. Because I didn't have any ground space and it was just too much work if you take every single statue out and then move the detail, then put it back in. It's so much work to do that. So I just moved it with the statues inside. I was like, screw that. You know, even like these Vestas, I moved, I mean, I took that guy out. Same with his bust. And everything else I kept inside with these bestas. I just moved the bestas with the statues on top. I did take Piccolo off because he's a heavy mother effer. Oh my gosh, he's heavy. But yeah, that's how I moved everything. And spent a lot of time doing this, cleaning. I still need to dust everything. I dusted the shelves before I put the statues in because I did have to rearrange a lot of stuff. But I still need to air blow everything probably do that tomorrow i'm just so tired and i want to relax but that is it folks let me know your thoughts on the huge huge direction uh you know change and moving everything it was a lot of work and this is no easy task when you have over 80 dragon ball z statues completely moving every single shelf every shelf got moved every statue got moved this was a lot of work I started at 6 a.m. this morning, and here we are, like, freaking 3 o'clock, and I'm finally done. Granted, I've been working, uh, watching uh, Family Guy, and it's always sunny in Philadelphia to help keep me entertained while doing it. I always like to watch a funny show whenever I'm building something. I, I feel like an idiot if I'm not, you know, like, watching a funny show while doing, you know, like, building shelves and moving stuff. I have to watch a show. That is it, though, folks. Let me know your thoughts. If you have any other suggestions, I really thought about, heck, I couldn't sleep last night. I kept thinking, what's the best way to do this? And this is what I've come up with so far. Things may change in the future, especially in this area. That's going to stay the same, and I'm definitely putting Goku bus there, keeping that there. You know, I'm probably, if, if I was to change anything, it'd really just be those two and throw them on the ground and put something else there. You know, if I decide to get... KD Boo or Vegeta or KD Goku or Trunks, then, you know, I'd throw them in there. Alrighty, folks, that is it. Till next time, like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.